You're watching 8-Bit Days a week, and I'm going to be playing another arcade game that did not have a PS1 port. Um, it did have a port on other consoles, on the Super Nintendo and the Sega Mega Drive, which honestly wasn't a nice port. But this Sega port is better than this Super Nintendo port, at least. But it's still nothing against the actual arcade version, of course. Which we never got, like an arcade accurate port. So anyway, yeah, I'm playing it now on the PlayStation Classic. And we can have unlimited life. Alright. I'm going with Iron Man. I wonder if that was supposed to be Juggernaut. <laughs> I suppose the X-Men has him tied up in their own arcade game. Of course the Avengers are a big hit these days, thanks to very successful movies. And um, there's actually another Avengers arcade game. It's also by Data East. It also did not have any port. It's a fighting game. It's based on the Galactic Storm storyline. Although it has taken some liberties. Since when the game was made, for example, Thor, Eric Masterson was still... Uh, oh wait, when the game was made, Eric Masterson was no longer Thor but Thunderstrike. And that's who you see in the game. Although if you read the Operation in Galactic Storm comics, he was still THE Thor. I wish I could use Quicksilver here. Maybe I could speed run the game. So yeah, if you've played like the Sega Mega Drive version, you'll notice that it's missing a lot of frames and voices. So you never get the actual the full arcade experience. You can't escape. You will be the one escaping. It's like it's all voiced by the same guy. <laughs> At least they picked a nice lineup here. If anything, maybe we're just lacking some female representation. 
judging from their lineup, maybe uh, Scarlet Witch, maybe or Wasp. Well, Wasp is here, although it's like a she's like a power up shield, like a star power up. Or Crystal, maybe? And just something to break the monotony of uh, being a beat em up. We get shoot em up segments. There is also cameos from Submariner and uh, Wonder Man. And you've also already seen Quicksilver. So yeah, their roster is 90s. Strangely, Thor is absent. And here we get a Sentinel. For some reason. Or, excuse me, it's just a giant robot, not a Sentinel. Sure looks like a Sentinel to me. So I guess Hawkeye is pretty lucky appearing in two different beat em ups. He was also one of the playable characters in the Spider Man arcade game. Along with Submariner, Black Cat, and of course Spider Man. that should be it for this video and uh, this is the Avengers the arcade game 
and this yeah this was never released on the PlayStation there's no port so if you'd like to try it now try it out of course just use the arcade version I mean there's no other version but the I mean if you're gonna put like the Sega Genesis ROMs or Super Nintendo ROMs you might as well avoid this game on those versions on those consoles and stick to the arcade you're watching 8-bit days a week please like comment and subscribe thanks for watching